Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Uh, today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 12, lesson 3, classified triangles. And page number is 915. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, let us start today's lesson. Uh, you can classify triangles using one or more attributes. Actually, an attribute is a characteristic of a figure like side measure and angle measure. So we will classify triangles in two ways today. The first one, classify triangles by sides. You see, these are the sides of the triangles. Okay. And the other way of classification, we will classify triangles by their angles, okay? When they meet, when these lines join, they form an angle. So with the measurement of angles, we will classify them. But here, we are classifying them with the sides first, okay? So how we will classify them by sides first? We have three types of triangle when we classify them by sides when all the three sides are equal you can see in this one three inches three inches three inches so all sides are congruent when all the three sides are equal we call that triangle equilateral triangle you guys have to memorize these things boys when all the sides are equal we call it equilateral triangle when two sides are equal or congruent, at least two sides congruent, you can see these two are equal, we call it isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Okay. And when no side is congruent, you can see here, all sides are of different length, 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, we call it scalene triangle. Let us repeat, all sides equal, equilateral only two sides are of same length, isosceles, and no side congruent, scalene. Okay. Let us solve the first example. Here, this one. This side, 924, 573 miles. Okay. And this one, 729 miles. So you can see all sides are of different length. So how many sides of the triangle are congruent? No one. Zero. So which triangle is this, guys? Of course, scalene. No side is of same length. Okay. Let us move to the next page. Uh, here we will classify the triangles with their angles. Okay. Before starting that, first you have to know some things about the angles. If the angle is straight, forming a square here it is known as 90 degree okay so acute this one acute it is actually less than 90 degree okay and obtuse this one it is actually more than 90 degree got it guys so whenever you have a right angle in your triangle you can see right angle means 90 degree so whenever you have a right angle in your triangle this one is showing that you have a right angle in your triangle or you can put the T shape protector to check the angle of course you know when it is a straight line it is 90 degree and if it is moving that side it means more than 90 degree and if it is moving inside it means less than 90 degree okay so whenever you have a right angle in your, see, one right angle, okay, uh, that is known as right triangle. And whenever you have all of the angles in your triangle acute, acute means less than 90 degree. You can see this one is, if the straight is 90 degree and the line is inside, so it is. it means this one is less than 90. Similarly here, if the straight line is 90 degree and this line is inside so it means this angle is also less than 90 degree and this one is also shorter 
so it is also less than 90 degree so three acute angles we call it acute triangle one right angle and two acute angles two less than 90 and one equal to 90 we call it right triangle and this one if you see this is straight line and this one is less than 90 less than 90 and you can see this one is little bit bigger more than 90 it's wider so one obtuse angle so we call it obtuse triangle so let us repeat guys one right angle we call it right triangle all small angles less than 90 we call it acute and one big angle which means more than 90 only one the other two are less than 90 we call it obtuse triangle okay let us solve the second example with this let me clear the screen first okay here what do you think all these angles they are small angles no wider angle here okay so what is this how many angles of the triangles are acute all the three are acute how many angles of the triangles are obtuse no one is more than 90 so how many angles of the triangles are right no one is forming a square no 90 degree angle so zero okay so this one is actually acute triangle in terms of angles and in terms of sides you can see all the sides are same so you can say it is an equilateral triangle in terms of sides okay here they write it it was an acute triangle okay let us move down here this one in terms of sides two sides are of same length so isosceles triangle here no angle is more than 90 all angles are less than 90 so acute triangle let us move to the next page no same length so scalene triangle two sides of same length two so isosceles triangle okay you can see this is a wider angle so obtuse triangle all the angles are less than 90 so acute triangle you can see here a right angle 90 degree so right triangle all the angles here less than 90 so acute triangle in terms of side this one they said equilateral triangle so we will draw all the sides of same length here they said right triangle so we will draw a triangle and of course we have to draw a 90 degree angle let us move to the next page this sandwich guys what do you think in terms of angles of course it is making it is forming a square here so there is a 90 degree we can call it a right triangle and in terms of sides no side is of same length so we can say scalene triangle i hope you guys understand the lesson don't forget to subscribe my channel and finish your homework have a nice day thank you so much